Hello, and welcome to this ZTPFGI demonstration. In this demonstration, we'll be looking at ZTPFGI's built in binary editor. ZTPFGI is able to recognize files with certain extensions as binary files. When a binary file is opened within the ZTPFGI editor area, it is automatically opened in the binary editor. Currently, the editor area is showing a text file, but if we open this example of a binary file, it is opened in the binary editor. As you can see, the binary editor has two sides. The left side shows the file in hexadecimal, and the right side shows it as characters. If we prefer, we can view just the hex, or just the characters. But for this demo, let's view both. Each side even has its own ruler. We can select how we want to view each ruler from a gallery of options. For example, we can choose to view the hex side as two byte fields separated with spaces with a decimal ruler. We can select to view the characters ruler from the character ruler options. Let's view this in four character divisions with a decimal ruler. As we look at some of the other features of the binary editor during this demo, you'll notice that both the sides are synchronized. We can scroll and navigate through the file, and as we do so, both sides move together. If we move the cursor, the cursor moves on both sides. And if we select an area, then both sides are highlighted. We can edit a binary file simply by typing over existing characters. We can also edit on the character side. Just like the text editor, the binary editor has cut, copy and paste available. We can cut or copy and paste on the character side or on the hex side, but the changes are reflected in both. As an example, let's copy these characters and paste them over here. And we can do the same on the hex side. We can even find and or replace text or hex values using the editor's find and replace facility. To take a look at this, let's open the find facility and search for occurrences of the hex value 00C0. As you can see, the binary editor has found all the instances of this search term. We can just as easily search the character side simply by clicking the character side before searching. As an example, let's search for the characters xd. We can also replace characters in hex value simply by opening the Replace panel. For more information about ZTBFGI's Find and Replace facility, please watch the demo on that subject. Finally, in this demo, let's take a look at the binary editor's ability to handle xedit-like prefix commands that allow us to move, copy, paste, duplicate, insert and delete. As an example, let's copy these three lines of code from here and paste them further down the file. To do this, we simply click in the editor's gutter and enter the prefix command. To copy three lines, we would say C3. Now, to paste them below this line, we simply enter P in the gutter and hit the Enter key. As you can see, the three lines have been copied and pasted. There are several more prefix commands available in the binary editor. If you're already using ZTPFGI, you can find out more about these by reading the prefix commands section of the ZTPFGI help file. Thanks for watching this demonstration of ZTPFGI's binary editor. To find out more, please watch some of the other demos that are available, take a look at our brochures, or contact us for further information.